people label symptoms as bad. And that that's the allopathic modeling uh, and the germ theory modeling as well. When I have a, a set of symptoms, that's bad and they must go away. And if I make them go away, I'm healed. You know, like this is the, this linear thinking that's happened and that's not healing. And that's not what symptoms are. You know, the symptoms are the actions of the body healing. They are the output or the visualization of the body attempting to recover. And the symptoms are only visible if something is not going according to plan, meaning the body would have loved to do it the way where you didn't notice. However, unfortunately, you've been eating Doritos and, you know, and turtles or whatever at Christmas and <laughs> you, you're zinc depleted and magnesium depleted and iodine depleted as most people are and sulfur depleted as the majority of people are as well. So you're not processing your endogenous waste that you make every day just from being alive and your exogenous waste that you get from eating, drinking, breathing, living in this toxic world, you're not processing them. And now it's going to do a different mechanism to try to deal with it. It might have to produce a tumor. That's a symptom. It's not a disease per se. It's creating it because it's got nowhere else to go. It's got no other mechanism to release or wall off because it's too volatile for the body to just have hanging around. When you get a runny nose, runny eyes, when you get, you know, mucus, it is attempting to clean and it is attempting to correct. And if your liver is congested, then it has to produce these alternate symptoms because it has to move and mobilize the wastes and make the corrections. And so we look holistically at symptoms as information. Ooh.